Lift it up and served it on the side along with some chutney. Oh, and it's crispy and soft at the same time. And go in for all of that beautiful. It's almost, yeah, it's prepared kind of like a curry. But I love how there's so many, so many greens in there. I think there's green onions in there as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks incredible. Oh, wow. That is incredible. Wow. Just packed full of flavor. You've got the crispy, sort of like spongy, but very thin, like almost like crepe like dosa. And then that curry. I cannot believe how quickly and how masterfully he whipped up that, that paneer tikka. I was expecting it to be good, but that is. We made it back down towards the coast and I decided to get a hot, fresh piece of grilled corn. And then once she took it off the fire, then she added on, I think it's just like a salt, chili, lime juice um, garnish seasoning. And this is nice and hot. When I was a kid growing up in, especially in Kenya, I would always eat roasted corn as my snack. So this brings back great memories. Yeah, the corn is a little bit creamy, kind of like milky. And then, yeah, you gotta love that black char from the fire roasted. And the seasoning is very light, just a little bit of salt and a little bit of sourness from that lime. Mm. Corn drumstick. I think some of the, I think some of the corn just sprayed out. Taste and texture and crispness to them. Follow that with some of the tom yum broth and a shallot. Mm. Oh. It's nice and sour. It's a little bit salty, and you can just taste all of that lemongrass and the chilies in there and the garlic. Let me scoot aside this pile of goodies and fish out one of the fish. And then you can just kind of, what I like to do is just put my spoon on the end of the tail here and just kind of slide my spoon down and you can get pretty much the entire filet of mackerel. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Off like that though. The buttery piece of mackerel. Okay, perfect. I just love mackerel. It's such a wonderful, flavorful fish. It's a little bit buttery and creamy and I especially love it in tom yum because it's, it takes on the flavor of the lemongrass and the lime juice and the fish sauce. But I could just not pass up the opportunity to eat a final home-cooked meal at home before going on this trip. And you can see these are like little curly sides of a fish. I think it's just the fillet side of the fish. And then it is coated in some kind of coating and then deep fried. That is extremely tender. That just like flakes apart. Wow, that's good. That is salty and really, really crispy. It has that like crispiness that, I'm not sure if it's like cornstarch, but it almost has like a, it has a more crispy texture than a flour based batter. I'm gonna take my rice though and put it onto my platter. I'll start with a little bit of it first. And then I think this one is some kind of a curry sauce. I will add some of this to my rice. Oh, there's some chunky spices in there as well. And I'm really curious, I have no idea what this pink colored sauce is. Let me add a little bit of that. A pink dish. Okay, I'll take that, that piece of bombill fish and mix it into that rice. That's amazing. I'll break a piece. And I got mostly salad, but I could not resist a piece of lamb rogan josh, which is an amazing dish. Oh, that's like a big chunk of something. Oh, look how tender that lamb is. I'm gonna have to go, go back and get some more of that. Oh, that's amazing. Tender lamb, tomatoes, 
just wonderful sauce. Oh, that's good. It has been an amazing dumplings that look almost like chicken wings. They almost look like drumsticks without the bone. Boneless drumsticks. <laughs> Are you kidding over here? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like a, a rice sponge. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. That glaze, chili paste glaze, yeah. just caramelized on with oil. And then like the, the sponginess of that. And then the muscle flavor just like is in every compartment of that. <laughs> it's like actually a little spicy. That's awesome. Wow. And that's like dense too. Very doughy. That's as finger looking good as a chicken. <laughs> he said like we have to shake. Oh, okay. Shall I shake? Yes, sure. Whoa! That's awesome. That is awesome. Thank you. Okay. There's this bucket of like marinating pineapple with chilies and herbs. They take a soda water, he fills it into a soda water, and then like you shake it up. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. It's not sweet at all. That tastes like, you taste chili, you taste like coriander and mint, and then you taste pineapple in like... combination of pao, which is a bun like this, and then the bhaji, which is this tomato, potato puree with spices. You can feel the starchiness of the potato, but then it has a really nice like tartness from the tomato, and then it's a little bit spicy. You can taste that that like blend of cumin and turmeric in there as well. And then yeah, you can taste the butter in there quite well as well. That's a very buttery, fluffy roll. Just a really quick intermission. Different versions. One is pineapple, cucumber, and bitter gourd. And I'll taste all three in a row. This one the pineapple. And just the pure, the pure flavor of it without rice to taste how it is. Pineapple and ginger. Next. This is a what? Sambar. Sambar. I'm getting the hang of the style. You you eat the rice with the main dish and then you mix the different flavorful like toppings, like sauces to go with it. Okay, next up for the cucumber version. And that's yogurt. Oh, oh wow. That one is the cucumber. It's like sour and refreshing and mustardy. And finally, the this one is the bitter gourd. Mm. Oh, the bitter gourd. It's like tastes like dehydrated bitter gourd, like leathery slightly with that bitterness with that sour yogurt. Mm. Mix up the sambar next with the rice. That bitter gourd chutney on there. That bitter gourd yogurt. Mm. Oh, the sambar. It has this wonderful sourness to it, like tamarind, right?